now dear student uh, today we study about the uniform motion and non uniform motion right? in previous class uh, we uh, study about uh, what motion what is the motion if the any object change its position with the time that is called what uh, motion now uh, on furthermore if of any object moves uh, to change its position there uh, in that case he can pursue the two type of the motion one is what Uni uniform motion and another one is what non uniform motion now what is the meaning of here uh, we study about the what is the meaning of uniform motion what is the meaning of uniform motion now student if the object uh, is moving with uniform motion if it cover the equal distance in equal interval of the time is written here uh, means that if the object is start from the start to move from this point and he covered the distance suppose grow uh, 10 kilometer in one hour in one hour right and further he again moves from the b to c which is again 10 kilometer and this distance is also covered in one hour means this object covered the equal distance in equal interval of the time right then this type of motion is called what uniform motion this type of motion is called what uniform motion uniform means here the word uniform uniform means same uniform means same jaise aapke school mein uniform hota hai ye word kahan se aaya hai aapke school uniform se aaya hai school uniform means sabke same dresses right to uniform motion means the object move with the uh, uh, same pattern move with the same pattern if it uh, if he cover the 10 kilometer in a one hour then another uh, 10 kilometer he cover in a one hour right means uh, the motion is said to be uniform motion if it covers equal distance in equal interval of the time and this type of motion is called what uniform motion means same motion here we see the same pattern of motion and on the other another hand what is the non uniform motion what is the non uniform motion no and here the uh, also indicated uh, as the topic non uniform motion which is equally opposite to the what uniform motion uh, in this case if in any object cover the unequal distance in equal interval of the time that motion is called what non uniform motion suppose uh, suppose uh, we take example to explain the non uniform motion Suppose an object is at A, he covers the 10 km distance in one hour, in one hour, and after that he covered the uh, 20 km distance, 20 km distance in one hour, and another uh, he covered the 10, uh, sorry, 5 km distance in one hour. Means here object cover the unequal distance in equal interval of time in equal interval of time and this type of motion uh, which is executed by the object is called what non-uniform motion is called what non-uniform motion so we can be right here a motion a motion is said to be is said to be non uniform is said to be non uniform motion if if it covers unequal distance unequal distance in equal interval of the time in equal 
interval of time. Is equal to interval of time. Right? And it is the what explanation of the uniform motion, and this is the explanation about the non-uniform motion. Right? Now suppose very important thing. Uh, if the object is moving with the uniform motion, is moving with the uniform motion, then graph of the that motion should be straight. Should be straight. Here, uh, suppose uh, we explain the uniform motion in another half object cover the 10 kilometer, right? Means if we plot a graph of this uh, motion. In the graph, there is a two axes. This is what x axis. This is what y axis. Y axis. Along the x axis, we take the time. We take what time? And along the y axis, we take what distance. Suppose this is one hour and two, three, four, five. Suppose the row. Suppose this is the what uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, this in kilometers. 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers. Suppose in one half object cover the distance 10 kilometers. So we here we draw a dot. In two hours, in two hours, object cover what? 20 kilometer, 20 kilometer in two hours, and in three hours, object cover what? 30 kilometer, 30 kilometer, right? It is the example of what? Uniform motion, and in four hours, object should cover the 40 kilometers. When, when we join these points by a line. And this line is always come straight in case of the uniform motion. In case of the uniform motion, this is a very important, guys. ये हमेशा पेपर में पूछा जाता है, right? तो so the graph of uniform motion is always straight. Is always straight. If any of any motion executing the same pattern. Some fixed pattern, then this graph will be straight. And on the other hand, the graph of non-uniform motion is not straight. Either it is curved in this direction, or either this graph is curved in this direction. If you show in exam, you show the three graphs: one, two, and three. And you choose that which graph represent the uniform motion. Then you students, then you pick this graph, right? Because the straight graph, straight line graph always represent the uniform motion. And curved graph, this is what curved graph, and this graph represent the non-uniform motion. Non-uniform motion. Now, okay. Now, come to the next very important point, right? Now, अब देखो बच्चों, if the object is moving, we can then we can say any object move slow, any object move fast, right? And which move, which object is move faster, which object is move slower, and this property of moving object is determined with the help of speed. With the help of speed, speed is the indicator. It is what speed is the indicator. How faster or slower any object moves, right? Speed is the what indicator, and is. Uh, if which object is faster and slower and now what is speed now what 
what is speed speed is nothing uh, speed it is the the distance the distance covered by object covered by object per unit time per unit time is called speed is called speed mathematically mathematically speed is what distance upon time distance upon time right now for example if in any object cover a distance 100 km 100 km in 2 hours this is what distance 100 km and he takes he the time of 2 hours to complete this distance now we find out how we find out the speed of this object we use this formula speed is equal to what distance which is what 100 km and time is what 2 hours time is what 2 hours and by calculating this amount we get the 50 km per hour 50 km पर आर अब देखो स्टूडेंट ये किलोमीटर कहाँ से है डिस्टेंस का यूनिट क्या है किलोमीटर राइट और टाइम का यूनिट हमने क्या लिया और राइट दिस नाउ नोमेरिकल वैल्यू तो आपस में कैलकुलेट हो गए उसके बाद क्या है इनके बच्चे यूनिट्स किलोमीटर पर आर किलोमीटर पर आर राइट मीन्स इट मीन्स दिस ऑब्जेक्ट्स कवर द 50 किलोमीटर इन वन 50 किलोमीटर इन वन आर है वी राइट द यूनिट टाइम यूनिट टाइम मीन्स यूनिट मीन्स वन यूनिट मीन्स वन वन मीन्स वन सेकेंड वन आर वन मिनट राइट कि वन सेकेंड में ऑब्जेक्ट ने कितना डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल किया वन आर में ऑब्जेक्ट ने कितना डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल किया राइट दैट इज वॉट एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ द वॉट स्पीड राइट and now we calculate the speed by the this formula and unit of the speed is what unit of the speed is what unit is what unit is the uh, uh, quantity which is express the speed now here speed is expressed by this unit this is this is called what unit kilometer per hour is called what unit we uh, by this unit we measure the speed We measure the speed. Unit of the uh, speed is what? Kilometer per hour. Or standard unit is standard unit is standard unit of the speed is meter per second. Meter per second. The standard unit bolo ya S I unit. S I unit of the speed is what? meter per second right this is what all about what speed what is speed speed is what distance on time now student ask me itnahi tomorrow we will study about the velocity okay